so in the last week we were discussing that being requested by vidura about the welfare of lord krishna balaram vasudeva ugrasen maharaj kunti pandavas yadavas hearing all those questions related to lord krishna uddhava went into trance and understanding this vidura remained silent he was in trance for uh, one full muhurta then he came back to answer to the questions of vidura he starts answering that uh, what is the use of asking about the welfare of all the yadavas when krishna himself left the left us leaving us behind there is nothing to speak about others when krishna himself is not available here so like that he starts talking about krishna's departure like sun setting and though uh, the yadavas were living with krishna they did not understand krishna's transcendental nature his powers he is being the supreme lord they treated him just like a fish treats the reflection of the moon in the waters they thought that okay some special fish so they thought like krishna to be a special even though they understood about krishna's uh, glories only to the extent of him as being paramatma that krishna understands everything that we think of him he knows what we want and he facilitates all those things so he seems to be like paramatma it's like that they thought so like that one upon the other one upon the other he speaks about uh, many other uh, wonderful things um so that's why he says that the yadavas do not know but even though they do not know they are with the lord when lord disappeared they also disappeared they went to upper kata vaya dwaraka but we know the lord on the other hand you and me know about the transcendental nature of the lord but we remain here actually i am not supposed to lament for them i am supposed to lament for both of us so it is like that the people in this material world might consider krishna to be one among them but the devotees are never disturbed by such kind of false logic and false arguments they are firmly convinced then uh, why is that lord appears and disappears like human beings lord appears just to attract the conditioned souls so that they will they will uh, develop a desire to stay with the lord for the rest of eternity though people of people in general are not qualified lord showed his transcendental form for some time and withdrew his form after performing past tense for 125 years the other people who are not satisfied fully satisfied by looking at lord krishna have developed a desire to see lord krishna once again and hence they will perform bhakti and go back home back to god head that was the one of the purpose of lords coming into this world what to speak of ordinary people are getting attracted to lord's beauty even mahavishnu himself gets attracted to lord's beauty that's how with the intention to have darshan of lord krishna he stole the sons of brahmana as eventually lord krishna to arjuna to mahavishnu and gave it darshan to mahavishnu so it is like that param padam bhushana bhushanangam generally we wear ornaments to increase the beauty of our body but when lord krishna wears the ornaments he will increase the beauty of the ornaments that is the greatness of lord krishna and then he says that uh, my dear uddhava you also witnessed that during the rajesh sacrifice uh, you directly witnessed the transcendental beauty of lord krishna to which all the devatas who assembled in that assembly got attracted to lord krishna's transcendental beauty so like that continues in the next verse so today we'll begin from verse number 13 where further wonderful characteristics and qualities of lord krishna are mentioned by uddhava so one devotee you can unmute and repeat after me yad dharma shuno urbata rajasuye yad dharma shuno urbata rajasuye nirikshya druksastyanam triloka nirikshya druks स्वस्तयनयनम् त्रिलोका कार्ष्णेन चाड्ये हगतम् विदातुर् 
ராஜசூயாஸ் performed by maharaja yudhishthira after seeing the beautiful bodily features of lord krishna they all contemplated that he was the ultimate dexterous creation of brahma the creator of human beings yeah uddhava talks about another incident where lord krishna's beauty attracted one and all in the entire universe Mahavishnu is situated outside the universe got attracted to his beauty and everyone in the universe also got attracted to his beauty that is indicated here when at the rajasi sacrifice of yudhishthira all the people of the universe seeing the form of the lord which created auspiciousness in all directions swasti ayanam considered that the skill of the creator the skill of brahma in making the most beautiful objects in the recent universe was nullified completely at that time when the devatas looking at lord krishna during the rajasi sacrifice they were thinking that we till now we only knew that lord brahma is the sk- most skillful person he could create most awesome things but lord krishna's beauty is be the brahma's capacity is nowhere comparable to lord krishna's transcendental beauty that was the experience by all the devatas during rajasi sacrifice all people within the three worlds including brahma and indra considered that today in this universe the skill of the creator in constructing the recent variegated world had all been nullified by seeing the beauty of lord krishna's limbs there is now disgust with the creations of the blossoming blue lotus till now everyone are thinking that blossoming blue lotus is the most beautiful thing our lamp block ointment is also most beautiful thing and blue sapphire is the most beautiful thing and rain cloud is also newly monsoon rain cloud is also most beautiful thing but after looking krishna all these things are put into shame so they are hiding themselves so something like that seeing the beauty of his face what is the use of the moon and the lotus so like that the lord's beauty is so transcendental to transcendent that other things become Uh, insignificant you can remember this past time that uh, sri pad ramanujacharya i think at one time the dt's procession was going on and the way of the procession he observed a peculiar scene there was a man well built wrestler he was holding a umbrella for a woman and looking at the face of that woman even though lord's palanquin was going on in front of him lot of instruments are being played new uh, songs uh, bhajans were sung still he was simply looking at the women so ramanujara thought that what happened to this person why is doing like this later on he sends one of his disciple to call him to him person in person so later on in the evening uh, it is name is danudar i think danudas he went to ramanujaria and he offered obeisances then ramanujaria asked what are you doing why are you so much enamored by the beauty the temporary beauty of that lady then he said that my dear sir you for you it may appear to be temporary beauty but as far as my experience goes among all those things i have seen in this world the eyes of the lady the eyes of that lady are the most beautiful things i never come across more than that so is it so if i show you something more beautiful than that will you give up looking at her ramanujara said then danuda said okay yes then ramanuja told him to come in the late evening to the temple so the garbagruha so ramanuja was in temple garbagruha and danudar uh, came and uh, praying and uh, desperately praying to lord ranganath ramanuja showed the lamp starting from the lotus feet of lord ranganath and all the way up to lotus face slowly slowly moving as the lamp is moving up and up up and up Danudar was able to see the transcendental form of Lord uh, Ranganath, actual personal form, not in the deity form. 
so especially when he comes to the face and eyes he was completely mesmerized that the beauty of the eyes of that lady are nowhere comparable to the beauty of the eyes of lord rangnath then he immediately fell flat at the feet of ramanacharya and accepted my spiritual master he eventually married that lady and both of them served ramanacharya very dedicatedly very nicely and they became one of the well known disciples of sri rapad ramanacharya so like that lord's beauty is so attractive can attract anyway something like that so here with the vice like that even you also had an experience of lord's transcendental beauty in uh, rajesh sacrifice you are also there personally so like that so do mahavishnu gets attracted to lord's beauty and everyone in this universe all the way up to brahma also gets attracted to lord's beauty but among all those people who are attracted to lord's beauty the best among them are gopis the way gopis are attracted to lord's beauty is not there in anybody else so in order to tell that he speaks the next verse but the attraction of the gopis for krishna and his beauty was much greater than all others in the universe including brahma and indra because lord krishna did not respect these devatas as much as he respected the gopis so the attraction towards lord's beautiful form and lord's personality by the gopis is incomparable to anyone else so that is understood by lord's reciprocation with gopis vis a vis lord's reciprocation with all the devatas so with that intention in the 14th verse uddhava speaks about this yasya anuraga plutaha sarasa ृत्यशेषा Translation: The damsel of Braja, after past times of laughter, humor, and exchanges of glances, were anguished when Krishna left them. They used to follow him with their eyes, and thus they sat down with stunning intelligence and could not finish their household duties. Hare Krishna. so this verse talks about the braja gopis the women of raja after past times of laughter rasas and exchanges of glances followed him with their eyes when he left and thus they sat down with stunned intelligence and could not finish their household duties so every night they would had rasa dance and in the morning hours when lord krishna would take the cows for grazing to the forest all the gopis would climb onto their terraces from there they would look towards krishna to the direction he was going till the time they would see krishna and uh, they would send their minds along with lord krishna their minds would go to forest along with lord krishna their bodies will remain there and they would have many household activities to do throughout the day but their mind is not there thus they could not complete their household activities every day and they would get chastised by their mother in laws so this is what used to happen in raja so like that having great respect for lord krishna after he had respected them by his playful glances and and by all the rasas combined accompanied by smiles permeated with love the women of raja whose minds followed him with their eyes at that moment remained standing unable to move at all because of the paralysis due to ecstasy when lord krishna was leaving raja and going to forest along with the cows their minds would go and now afterwards when krishna becomes uh, invisible they are they lost they become paralyzed and they could not move they could not go down and start their activities even when while doing the activities suddenly they would stop somewhere in the middle of that activity they are kind of they become paralyzed so that's what happening with the gopis 
they stopped all activities such as cleaning smearing cow dung churning yogurt and serving food even in the midst of doing activities if they happen to see him suddenly they remained motionless not completing their household chores this love which astonished the whole universe including lord krishna himself and the bewilderment is it created in the women of raja arose from the profusion of their prema because they had so much love so much love that they could not tolerate performing any activity in the absence of krishna even though while thinking about lord krishna throughout the day as soon as they sometimes they would see krishna in the sense krishna would uh, manifest in front of them just looking at krishna they would stop all the activities so like that by repeated descriptions of lord krishna's human pastimes the eternal position of his abodes golo gokula madura and dwaraka compared to the rising and setting of the sun is suggested it is not that gokula is made madura is made dwaraka is made not like that just like sun every day morning appears and evening disappears these holy places these dams of the lord also they appear and disappear whenever uh, lord comes down to perform the pastimes but they are always there it is not that they are created by someone on some day so not like that so that is the understanding about the lord and his abodes are eternal in this world so in that way so now the question comes aisa kaise bol sakte lord is eternal lord to human form mein hai lord is eternal and his dams are eternal so you are going one step ahead kaise bol sakte kaise maan sakte hum like that but we have heard many things from many people even from you also from the beginning kaise aisa hum suna tha uska uttar kya hai what they have heard but from your mouth we hear that vaikuntha narayana came and appeared in vasudeva's home house that lord vishnu appeared in the house of vasudeva that the ancient lord took a black hair and white hair that lord krishna expanded some kudaksha vishnu that uh, we uh, mahabharata is mentioned that when the, there was a problem on the earth earth went to brahma brahma took all the devatas to kudaksha vishnu that time kudaksha vishnu said that see i am taking out two hairs one black hair one white hair from my head and these two hairs will appear among the vishnu dynasty and will do the needful the black hair is krishna white hair is balram ji like that we have heard they are expansion of the two hairs of kudaksha vishnu that he expands from narana narayana sometimes some said that uh, narayana appeared as krishna nara appeared as arjuna some say that it is vamana who appeared as krishna the younger brother of indra in order to benefit indra again appeared as krishna and we also hear that lord krishna with human pastimes he is situated in dwaraka and other places at the highest form what is the real truth and we hear from you that uh, lord krishna eternally resides in the dwaraka and gokula and madura here in this material world in aprakata form kya sahi hai isme aisa alag alag prakar ka alag alag varnan hai alag alag log alag alag bolte hain isme se kaun sa sahi hai like that they are the question for which uddhava gives answer now in the next verse shvatanta rupe shuitarai swarupe परावरेशो महदंशयुक्त परावरेशो महदंशयुक्त हे अजो पिजातो भगवान यताग्नि हे अजो पिजातो भगवान यताग्नि प्रभु जी आई डोंट हैव द ट्रांसलेशन समबडी कैन रीड प्लीज ओके समबडी एल्स रीड फ्रॉम द बुक द पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड the all compassionate controller of both the spiritual and material creation is unborn but when there is friction between his peaceful devotees and persons who are in the material modes of nature he takes birth just like fire accompanied by the mahat tatva
so he had said that being compassionate in mind when his devotees are afflicted by the demons swayam bhagavan sri krishna though not having material birth appears within this material world along with his vishnu expansions mahadam shayukto since he is the lord of all forms of god and devatas so when lord krishna appears he comes along with all other is vishnu forms in the previous class when uh, vidura was asking questions about uh, pradyumna samba arjuna and all we discussed that these are the people are multiple people like pradyumna is one of the vishnu expansion vasudeva sankarshan pradyumna and also kamadeva entered him samba one of the lord associate and kartike entered him huh? so like that we discussed so when krishna appears all other incarnations about which all of us have read in the first canto third chapter second canto seventh chapter and throughout the bhagavatam all of them also present within him they appear along with him to do various activities so that is indicated so when it is said that okay the expansion of narayan vaikuntha narayana the expansion of yudhakshya vishnu the expansion of naranarayana the expansion of vamana and all but here bhagavatam says that they are all within him they are all his expansions he is not their expansion so like that lord krishna is the lord of narayana farms who are situated beyond prakriti in the vaikuntha abode and is the lord of brahma and other devatas para and avara means lord krishna is the lord of all the vishnu farm vishnu tattva farms which are situated outside the universe and is the lord of all the devatas who are situated within the universe all the way up to brahma and shiva he is the lord of everyone para avara isha because he is swayam bhagavan krishna stu bhagavan swayam and he is endowed with forms such as mahavishnu the creator of mahatattva mahadamsha yukto in that maha mahad means uh, he is the he is endowed with the forms such as mahavishnu with the creator of mahatattva and he is also endowed with all other amshas like masya kurma nrihari naranarayana and vamana all these are also form of him only mahadamsha yukto baka when he appears he appears along with mahad that is uh, mahavishnu and also amsha yukto along with all the other amshas like masya kurma nrsimha naranarayana vamana etc so why does he appear this is all there in the 10th canto all of us have heard during janmashtami times we hear about this particular past time when the devotees are afflicted by the demons lord krishna whose mind is full of compassion appears in this world though he is unborn without material birth ajopisa navyatma bhutana meshwaropisan um sambhavami atma maya what was the third line hare krishna anyone remember what was the third line bhagavad gita chapter 4 text number 4 or 5 prakritim swam adishtaya sambhavami atmamaya so lord's birth is not forced by karma instead he appears with the help of his yoga maya so that birth cannot be compared with our birth and all so like that according to shrutis the lord is also called mahat the great lord how mahantam vibhu vibhu matmanam matva dhiras na sochati knowing the lord as the producer of mahatattva the wise person does not lament understanding that the lord is the producer of mahatattva and all other things one does not become bewildered he is just like fire the lord is just like fire which being eternally pre- eternally present as one of the five basic elements appears when jewels or stones are rubbed so lord is like fire is generally not visible but when there is a friction between two stones the fire comes this means that he is eternally present in his abode such as madura dwaraka and gokula when his devotees in madura like vasudeva and ugrasena are afflicted by personalities like kamsa by his kripa shakti 
which is like friction that produces fire, Lord becomes visible. When Vikrasena Maharaj was arrested, Vasudeva was arrested, when all the devotees are tortured by Kamsa, so out of his compassion, Lord Krishna made his appearance. So like that. Rising like the sun in the eastern direction. The sun rises in the eastern direction. The eastern direction compared to Devaki. And sunrise mountain. In eastern direction, there is either ocean or mountain. Generally, it will be there. So sun rises from the mount in the middle of the mountain. So that mountain is compared to Madura. And east is compared to Devaki. He extinguishes the evil persons similar to darkness. So as soon as sun rises, the darkness goes away. That means all the evil persons are destroyed. And satisfy the lotuses compared to the religious persons. And Chakravaka birds, the devotees in longing. So lotuses, as soon as the sun comes, the lotus bloom. It is the people in general. Common people become happy when the Lord's present is there. But Chakravaka birds are actually waiting for the Lord to appear like the rain. So devotees are in longing. Who have been tormented by the darkness and established the rules of dharma. So, same Bhagavad Gita verse. Um, Paritranaya sadhunam dharma samstapanartaya sambhavami yuge. Lord appears to establish the principles of dharma. So, in that way. Then he appeared on the sunset. Then he disappears on the sunset mountain known as Prabhasa. In this way, the example of the sun is suitable comparison with Lord Krishna's appearance and disappearance. It clearly shows how the Lord is present in his abode and makes his appearance. So, Lord's birth and activities are not like our uh, birth and activities. We are forced by karma. But Lord appears by his own sweet will and he is not an expansion of any other avataras also. When he appears, all the avataras are, are there within him and they also appear along with him to perform their respective activities. So, finally, it is said that he is not Lord Narayana coming from Vaikuntha. Or he is not an expansion of the white hair and black hair of Kirudaksha Vishnu coming from the milk ocean. Or he is not Naranarayana coming from Badrikashram. Or he is not Vamana coming from Sargaloka or other places. Coming from their respective abodes to make an appearance in this world. Though all these forms have their eternal abodes, when Lord Krishna appears, he comes with all these amshas, Mahadamsha Yuktaha. Since they merge within the Lord, within Lord Krishna, the Lord of all of them, Para Avara Isha, He is the Lord of all the Vishnu Tattvas which are situated outside the universe and all the Jiva Tattvas who are situated within the universe. Para Avara Isha. The all doubts are resolved. This is in accordance with the statements of the great sages. The great sages say uh, all these things in a conclusive way. So like that. So this is how the Lord Krishna's transcendental position has been indicated. He is not an expansion of any other avatara. His birth is not like our birth. He is not forced by karma. Instead, when he appears, all the avataras also appear along with him. That is his great position. Yeah. You could follow Hare Krishna, all these verses. Yes, Prabhuji. Hmm. Yes. So, next verse. Mam ke dayate, mam ke dayate tad ajasya janma. Mam ke dayate ajasya janma. Vidam banam yad vasudeva gehe. Vidam banam yad vasudeva gehe. Prajechava sori bayad ivasvayam. Braje sava so irabhayat ivasvayam. Pura dvevas pura dvevas tit yadananta virya. Pura dvevas tit yadananta virya. When I think of Lord Krishna, how he was born in the prison house of Vasudeva along with Although he is unborn, how he went away 
from his father's protection to Vraja and lived there incognito out of fear of his enemy and how although unlimitedly powerful, he fled from Mathura in fear. All these bewildering incidents give me distress. Lord Krishna's appearance in the prison house of Kamsa is miserable circumstances. He stay in Vraja out of fear of the enemies and is leaving Madura. Though he has insignificant infinite power used to give me great suffering. So Uddhava is telling that Bhagavan ne aise aise krutta kiya ye sab sochte huye mujhe bahut dukh aate hain. Bhagavan ko abar to itna achcha hona chahiye tha but prison cell mein ho gaya. And then uh, as soon as he was born, he went to Vraja, hiding himself in the house of Nanda Maharaj. And then out of the fear of Jarasandha and Kalevana, he shifted the entire Madura to Dwaraka. So all these things give me, though he is a lot of everything, but when he does all these things, they give me pain. So like that. I have revealed the truth to you as I have understood it. However, I could not understand this difficult subject before. Even though I asked learned people, thus previously I was full of grief that is explained in this verse. Whenever I would remember all these things in the past, I was completely in uh, grief. So like that, Uddhava is saying. What all those things? He would become uh, grief stricken remembering them. How is it possible for a person without birth to take birth? Ajasti Janma. The Lord is Aja, unborn, but he takes birth. Kaise se sakta hai? There should be no grief if what appears to be a birth is actually only an imitation of birth and not actual birth. So, my dear Uddhava, don't be don't be pain stricken. Actually, Lord has no birth, but he imitates the human ways just to make a show of it. It is only a show. It is not actually the birth, like human beings. So, like that. Then Uddhava says that Uddhava intends to show that Lord Krishna has both actual birth and an appearance of a birth. His birth in the prison of Kamsa gives me pain. Okay, that is okay. If Lord's birth is only an action or an imitation or appearance like that, but why did he take birth in prison? So, he had to appear in prison and there was no festival conducted about his birth and all. I am really painful. This entire thing gives me pain. This actually means it previously gave me pain. Because his birth, even in degraded circumstances, should create the greatest joy to his mother, father, friends, and other devotees. Though now Uddhava might be thinking that, okay, but Lord appeared in the prison, that is giving pain. But yeah, Devaki and Vaddi were very happy because they were waiting for the eighth child to be born because they knew so for certain the eighth child is going to be the cause of Kamsa's death so that uh, the entire Madura will be benefited. So they were personally going through trouble, but when Krishna and Al finally appeared, they became the completely joyful. So it is like that. But Uddhava says that, why did he as the independent Lord not do anything about this? Lord to independent Abhijnas Farat, he could have done something different. Why he had to take birth in such a pitiable condition? What is this? He is naturally full of bliss. But why he is known to stay in Raja out of fear of his enemies? After as soon as he was born, he could have killed Kamsa only as a small child. But he went to Madura, he went to Rundavan, Raja. He hides himself there for many years. The word Iva is used to express, express the fact that he should not have been afraid of Kamsa while living in Raja. We may think that okay, Krishna out of fear of Kamsa only went to Raja and hid himself, but it is not like that. It is only Iva, as if. But he is never afraid of Kamsa. Then he fled from Madura. He came to Madura, killed Kamsa. Then eventually fled Madura only. Again went and hid himself in Dwaraka within the ocean. Though he has unlimited strength, he fled from Kala Yavana and Jarasandha out of fear. Bhishma had said, but my dear friends, kindly understand that. Bhishma says, O king, no one knows the plan of the Lord. Even though great philosophers inquire exhaustively, they are bewildered. Nahi asya karishit rajan puman veda vidhisitam. Yad vijignasaya yukta muyanti kavayopichin. 
Even the great Kavis, great learned people are also bewildered in trying to understand what is the plan of the Lord, why he is doing the what he is doing. So that is no one can understand that. However, when I asked the Lord in private, he enlightened me. Now my lamentation has begun. Previously, I was always worrying about all these things. But in private, I asked Lord, why does why do you do all these things like this? You could have done in a way. But Lord Krishna said that in order to attract the love of his devotees, in order to reciprocate them with them in such circumstances, I have orchestrated all these pastimes. That is just to enhance the sweetness of their devotion. Not that Lord is powerless. So like that. Lord gave answer to Uddhava and Uddhava became satisfied. Now he is not lamenting anymore. But in the past he used to lament. So it is like that. It is said. Then. So after telling these things are giving me pain. He further says. Dhuno ticheta smarato mamaita. Krishna, someone please repeat. Dhuno ticheta smarato mamaita. Yada hapadao abhivandya pitro. Yada hapadao abhivandya pitro. Tatamba kasma duri sankita nam. Tatam kansakamba uru sankita nam. Prasidatam no kruta nishkriti nam. Prasidatam no kruta nishkriti nam. Translation Lord Krishna begged pardon from his parents for their. Krishna's and Balram's inability to serve their feet due to being away from home because of great fear of Kamsa. He said, O oh mother, O oh father, please excuse us for this inability. All this behavior of the Lord gives me pain at heart. It says that, remembering his conduct, my heart fills with pain. Bowing at the feet of his parents, Krishna's and Balram said, O oh father, O oh mother, forgive us, because being greatly fearful of Kamsa, we could not serve you. So when Krishna came back, Krishna Balram came back after 11 and a half years, after killing Kamsa, after releasing uh, Devaki and Vasudev, then Krishna and Balram came to Devaki and Vasudev, they fell flat and offered obeisances. Then they begged forgiveness that, O oh father, O oh mother, we left you, we went to Runda Raja and we were living there for 11 and a half years and we never served you all these years. Please forgive us for our offense. It's like that, he said. So because of us, you both have to go through misery for 11 and a half years, being in the jail. So like that. Hare Krishna, Deepa Prabhu, can you kindly mute? When I remember Lord Krishna's activities, my heart produced by karma becomes afflicted. He consoles, Lord Krishna consoles his parents for his offense. He says that, oh father, oh mother, be pleased with us, with the two of us. We were greatly fearful of Kamsa. Thus, we left Madura and went to Raja and we were hidden there for all these 11 years and you were put into jail. If this statement is true, it is a contradiction to his position as the Lord. How can the Lord become fearful of ordinary living at the Jiva Kamsa? And if it is false, how can the Lord speak untrue words? So what Lord says is the true or false? How do we understand that? Thus previously I was in grief. How can I forget his humility, comforting to convention, which nourished his sweetness, even though he is the highest form of the Lord? His conduct pierces my heart like an arrow. This is the lamentation of Uddhava. 
So Lord Krishna and Balram would say these words just to increase the sweetness of affection between him and his devotees like Devaki and Vasudev. So we should not understand these things by logic. We should not imply logic. So Bhagavan can be fearful of someone. Can be sorry for someone. Can be offended for someone. So we cannot apply logic. So these statements we have to understand based on uh, sweetness of the love between the Lord and his devotees. There is no other reason. So like that. Then it is said that those who are not the Lord can also act like this. It is your faith only that he is the Lord. Three verses answer this doubt, establishing Krishna to be the Supreme Lord. Hey, to common normal log bhi aise bolte hai. Usme kya badi baat hai? Aise bolne me kya badi baat hai? So aise bolne se thodi Bhagavan banta hai ek aadmi. So now why Krishna is Bhagavan? That will be established in the next three verses. Kova Amushangri Saroja Renum. Kova Amushangri Saroja Renum. Vishmar Tumishi Tapuman Vijigran. Vishmar Tumishi Puman Vijignam. Yo Vispurad Bru Vitapena Bhume. Yo Vispurad Bru Vitapena Bhume. Bharam Krutante Nati Raschakara. Parim Krutate Nati Rakshakara. Who, after smelling the dust of his lotus feet, even once could ever forget it, simply by expanding the leaves of his eyebrows, Krishna has given the death blow to those who were burdening the earth. Hare Krishna. Mm. After having tasted the dust of his lotus feet, who can forget this person who removed the burden of the earth by death in the form of his eyebrow? So you say he is an ordinary person? His behavior is like that of an ordinary person? I say, how can I Just by raising his eyebrow, he removed the burden of the earth. Which ordinary person can do that? And having tasted the dust of his lotus feet, one can never give up this personality. And how can that kind of personality can be ordinary person? So like that. By the quivering birds of his eyebrows, which were death personified, he removed the burden of the earth. So Vitapa means a bird, a shrub or a branch. So it is like that. Who did not have direct experience of his prowess as the Supreme Lord? So you are saying that he is like ordinary person, is behaving like ordinary person, saying sorry to parents. So not only me, everyone has the experience that he is the Supreme Lord. Where? Drishta Bhavad Bir Nanu Raja Suye. Drishta Bhavad Bir Nanu Raja Suye. Chaitasya Krishnam Vishatopi Siddhi. Chaitasya Krishnam Vishatopi Siddhi. Yam Yogina Sam Spruhayanti Samya. Yam Yogina Sam Spruhayanti Samya. Yoga Nakasta Viraham Saheta. Yoga Nakasta. Viraham Saketa. You have personally seen how the king Chedi Shishubala achieved success in yoga practice, although he hated Lord Krishna. Even the actual yogis aspire after such success with great interest by performance of their various practices. Who can tolerate separation from him? Yeah. Here. In Rajasu's sacrifice, everyone witnessed that his power 
is no less than that of supreme lord how can we say that is ordinary person at the rajasi sacrifice you saw how krishna gave liberation to shishupala even though he held such hatred for the lord yogis desire to achieve the liberation the gnana yogis and ashtanga yogis go through tremendous hardships in order to achieve kaivalya sayujya mukti by practicing gnana yoga and ashtanga yoga but that liberation is easily given to a envious person like shishupala also by lord krishna so how can he be ordinary person who can tolerate separation from him so like that even for an enemy he is offering liberation so how see how merciful he is so how can uh, we say that he is ordinary person how can one want to stay away from this lord though shishupala hated the lord the lord showed unparalleled mercy unto him so that is shown in the previous in, in that example with the previous verse and what to speak of shishupala who is envious of lord krishna even for the neutral people also he had give perfected them even neutral people in the mahabharata battle they also attained perfection having described lord krishna's mercy which gives liberation to those who hated him uddhava now describes his mercy in giving prema to others who were neutral the other soldiers army in kurukshetra battle they were all neutral but who died while looking at lord krishna they all attained perfection so that is also mentioned the envious attained perfection neutral also attained perfection obviously devotees will attain perfection they no need to talk, talk about it so who is left no one is left everyone attains perfection by lord's mercy so how can you be called as ordinary person so like that this is important verse maybe there in your exam also tatai vachani naralok veera tatai vachani naralok veera yahave krishna mukara bindam yahave krishna mukara bindam netrai pibanto nayana biramam netrai pibanto nayana biramam parthasraputa padama purasya parthasraputa padama purasya certainly others who were fighters on the battlefield of kurukshetra were purified by the onslaught of arjuna's arrows and while seeing the lotus like face of krishna so pleasing to the eyes they achieved the abode of the lord so it is said that others the best among warriors who on the battlefield drank with their eyes the lotus face of lord krishna delight to the eyes and who are purified by the arrows of arjuna attain the abode of krishna in the battle with the opposite army while they were fighting with uh, krishna and arjuna krishna was driving the chariot arjuna was throwing the arrows so being hit by arjuna's arrows they are purified and then with that pure heart and pure mind looking at lord krishna's transcendental beauty especially the transcendental face ha huh? the opposite army instantly attained perfection in the form of going back to godhead so they are neutral the most of the warriors except kauravas the other warriors are they are supposed to be fought in the battle they are fighting normal warriors so because they died looking at lord krishna they attained perfection antakalecha mameva smaran muktva kalevaram saayati tamad bhavam nati atra samshaya as lord krishna promises in bhagavad gita that is what happened like that it is indicated here in mentioning that they drank with their eyes uddhava laments his own position they were fortunate they could see lord krishna at the time of death and hence they attained perfection but i am unfortunate because by drinking the form of the lord with their eyes they attend the lord but we cannot attend the lord now lord left and when we die we don't see the lord so we will not attain perfection like that uddhava is lamenting now in two verses uddhava laments how he could forget the sweetness of the lord his willingness to come under the control of his devotees in 21 22 verses talks about lord's tea sweetness 
that he becomes the subservient to his own devotees. Though he is my, their master, but he becomes their servant. So it's like that. So before that, any questions till now? Hare Krishna. Devotees, you are able to follow? Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Ah, By yes, raising the eyebrows, he uh, removed the burden of the earth. How that uh, you explain, no? Simple, na? Did Lord Krishna had to make big, big plans to fight with the soldiers? He had to endeavor, he has to... Uh, raising eyebrows means it is as simple as that. Achha. Killing the warriors is not a big uh, deal for Krishna. So like that. Okay. Mm. Very good. Uh, I so even, uh, uh, yeah, yes. yeah, please continue. Please continue, Prabhupada. Yes. That when after Kamsa was killed, uh, when uh, Jarasandha came to fight with Lord Krishna, he came with 23 Akshavanis. That time in Madhura, there was no army only. Just Lord Krishna and Balramji and a few more uh, other warriors like uh, Vasudev, Krutavarma and uh, who is that? Who went to Rundavan and brought Krishna back? Akrura. Only few warriors were there, not many. And they fought with 23 Akshavanis, Sena. The whole Mahabharata had only 18 Akshavanis, 11 plus 7. But when first time Jarasandha came to fight with Lord Krishna, they came with 23 Akshavani. And Lord Krishna said they, they don't even have one Akshavani also. But easily, very easily, in no time, in, in uh, maybe half day we, could, we can say, within half day, Lord Krishna killed all the warriors and Lord Krishna made Jarasandha weaponless and told him, okay, go back. But for Pandavas, they have to fight for 18 days. So it's like that. Easily, easily, as, as if just erased the eyebrow, things are done. Like that, that easily it did. That is understanding. Yeah, yes, Mataji. Yes, Hare Krishna Prabhuji, Dhanvat Prada. Prabhuji, you have told me in the beach that Bhagavan has said that we have to go to the beach and we have to go to the beach and then Bhagavan has to go to the beach and then Bhagavan has to go to the beach. So what is the answer to that contradiction? No, this, that's what I said. No, we cannot see these things by logic. That is only Bhagavan is doing his own words. He is doing his own words. He is doing his That please forgive uh -huh. us. Just that one word would be enough to make Devaki and Vasudev forget all their troubles. Okay. Matlab ye, so haan, like that means that we can't understand from the logic of God. We can't understand from the logic of God. Okay, Prabhuji. Thank you. 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 Okay. Anyone else has any question? Okay. We'll continue. Ah. Hari Bol. Swayam tasamyati shayastra disha. Swayam tasamyati shayastra disha. Swayam Tvasamyati Shayastra Disha. Swayam Tvasamyati Shayastra Disha. Swaraja Lakshmi Apta Samastha Kama. Swaraja Lakshmi Apta Samastha Kama. Balim Harad Bish Chira Loka Palai. Balim Harad Bish Chira Loka Palai. Kirita Koti Dita Pada Pita. Kirita Koti Dita Pada Pita. <clears throat> Lord Sri Krishna is the Lord of all kinds of trees and is independently supreme by achievement of all kinds of fortune. He is worshipped by the eternal maintainers of the creation who offer him the paraphernalia of worship by touching their millions of helmets to his feet. No one is equal to him or superior to him 
a samya and a atishaya there is no one equal to him and there is no one superior to him in uh, other books propad always uses this uh, phrase asama urdva asama there is no one equal to him a urdva there is no one superior to him that is the position of supreme lord he is the master of the three energies and the three vishnus swayam tridisha three adisha he is the master of three energies and he is the master of three vishnus all his desires are fulfilled by lakshmi and his rulership over his devotees pastimes and qualities so whatever lord wants everything is done by his energies headed by mother lakshmi he don't have to do anything personally natasya karyam karanam cha vidyate ah natasya karyam karanam cha vidyate natas tamascha abhyadikam drushyate paras shaktir vivideva shuryate swabhaviki gnana bala kriya cha the lord has nothing to do with his senses natasya karyam karanam cha vidyate and lord has no one equal to him or superior to him natas samascha abhyadikam drushyate because parasa shakti vidyave drushyate there are so many energies are at his disposal whatever he thinks they execute all the activities among them the most prominent were swabhaviki gnana bala kriya cha gnana shakti kriya shakti and bala shakti are the prominent energies so like that so all his desires are fulfilled by mother lakshmi and his rulership over his devotees pastimes and qualities his feet his feet are praised by the sounds of 10 million crowns of the devatas offering respects while presenting gifts so let us see what it means though lord krishna is the master of brahma and other devatas and the master of vishnu forms as well he becomes the servant of ugrasena after killing kamsa lord krishna did not sit on the throne instead he made ugrasena maharaj sit on the throne and himself acted as a subordinate of ugrasena but who is he he has no equal then what to speak of superior he has no one equal to him then what to speak of thinking of someone who is superior to him what is the reason he is the lord of three purusha avataras so generally we know about the three purusha avataras only mahavishnu means the maha 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 vishnu there is no one superior to him and garbhodaksha vishnu hyodaksha vishnu people in general their understanding of the supreme lord is mahavishnu but uh, krishna lord krishna is the lord of three prushas trayadisha and is the lord of three energies chit shakti jiva shakti and maya shakti he is the lord of all these three internal antaranga shakti bahiranga shakti and tatasa shakti all his desires are fulfilled by lakshmi mother lakshmi and his rulership with his expansions his devotees shakti his pastimes powers and sweetnesses all these things his sweetness his power his pastimes shakti devotees expansions and all oh, and mother lakshmi facilitated all his activities he don't have to do anything in person his feet are praised by 10 million crowns of long lasting protectors of all of the directions the lokapalas how many 10 million lokapalas when they come to krishna they keep their heads at the feet of lord krishna when everyone wanted to offer obeisances simultaneously their mukuts hit which is the mukut and they produce huge noise and also um his feet are praised by 10 million crowns of long lasting protectors of the directions the lokapalas devatas by brahmas acting as the creators of the 10 million universes so 10 million brahmas who are the creators of the 10 million universes they also offer obeisances simultaneously by vishnu is protecting those universes and by shiva destroying those universes and shesha holding up the bhumandalas within those universes the sound of the crowns when they offer respect is the praise so when all these people all the devatas lokapalas brahmas shivas and vishnus of unlimited universes they all offer obeisances to lord krishna then the hitting of the mukuts of all these people produce huge sound but that lord acts as a subordinate to uh ugrasen maharaj that is mentioned in the next verse tat tasya kaikaryamalam brutan 
Therefore, O Vidura, doth it not pain us, its fervator, when we remember that he, Lord Krishna, used to stand before King of Grafena, who was sitting on the royal throne and used to submit explanation before him saying, O oh my Lord, please let it be known to you. Hare Krishna. Yeah, here Udhira says that, O oh Vidura, Lord Krishna acting as a servant of Ugrasena, the subordinate of Ugrasena Maharaj, gives us great pain. Standing in front of Ugrasena, who sits on the throne of Madura, Lord Krishna informed the king, O oh, king of kings, please establish me in your service. So to his parents he told, please forgive us. Out of fear of Kamsa, we fled and hid ourselves in uh, Madura, uh, in Vrindavan. So because of which 11 years you have to subject, you are subjected to imprisonment, you have to go through sort of pains, please forgive us. Like that he told his parents. And after killing Kamsa, when he made Ugrasena Maharaja the king, Krishna made him as the king. And then he says that, please accept us as your subordinates and give us some engagement. So like that. This, this particular behavior of Krishna pains us, like that Uddhava is saying. This verse describes Lord Krishna, the servant of Ugrasena. O oh, Vidra, standing in front of King Ugrasena, who seated on the king's throne, Lord Krishna informed him, O oh, king of kings, please establish me in your service. Please engage me in your service. So this is how Lord Krishna became the servant of his devotees. And then finally, he says one thing. Remembering Lord Krishna's sweet mercy to those who wanted to harm him when he first appeared in the world, Uddhava laments. And another instance, Lord Krishna accepted someone who came to kill him as his mother, that is Putana. This is also famous verse which will come in your exam. Aho bakiyam stana kala kutam. Aho bakiyam stana kala kutam. Jigam shaya paya yat apia sadvi. Jigam shaya paya yat api sadvi. Lebe gatim da tri ujitam tatonim. Lobe gatim da tri ujitam tatonim. Kamva dayalum sharanam brajema. Kamva dayalum sharanam brajema. Also, how shall I take shelter of one more merciful than he who granted the position of mother to she demon Putana, although she was unfaithful and she prepared deadly poison to be sucked from her breast? Yeah. Ho, oh, evil Putana, who offered her poisonous breast to Lord Krishna to drink with the intention of killing him. But on the other hand, she attained the position of a nurse in the spiritual world. Who else is so merciful? I surrender to him. Sharanam Brajema. Even though Putana, who pretended to have sentiments of a mother, gave him poison to kill him, she at, but instead she attained a position in Goloka, similar to the nurses of Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna has two real nurses named Ambika and Kalimba in Goloka. Though Putana only had the dress of a devotee, she attained love suitable to a devotee. Then what to speak of if someone is really like that? Though she hated the Lord, he made her a special example. This incident shows Lord Krishna's quality of giving liberation and bhakti even to those who hate him. Other than him, who else is worthy to take shelter? Therefore, I take shelter of his lotus feet. 
that way uh, with Uddhavai saying that. So I continuously take shelter of Lord Krishna's lotus feet. And he says that on the other hand, I don't, even though I take shelter of Lord Krishna's lotus feet, but I don't have that remembrance of Lord Krishna continuously, which Asuras had. Asuras are more fortunate than me. So like that, he says in the next verse. Manne Suran Bhagavatam Tradishe Manne Suran Bhagavatam Tradishe Sambram Mamarga Bini Vishta Chittan Sambram Mamarga Bini Vishta Chittan E sam yuge chakshatatar shaputram. E sam yuge chakshatatar shaputram. Amse sunaba yudama apatantam. Amse sunaba yudam apatantam. The asu, I consider the demons who are inimical toward the Lord. To be more than the devotees, because while fighting with the Lord, absorbed in the thoughts of enmity, they are able to see the Lord carried on the shoulder of Garuda, the son of Tarkshya, Kashyapa, and carrying the wheel weapon in his hand. Yeah. Uddhava says that, I consider that the demons who had, long, who had anger toward the Lord, toward the Lord of three energies, to be um, devotees. That though the demons had anger toward the Lord, devotees, because during the battle, they saw Garuda approaching with Lord Krishna on his shoulders, carrying his Sudarshana Chakra. And they were killed by the Lord in a fight. And while dying, they were looking at the Lord and they went back to Godhead. But for me and you, the Lord will not be there at the time of death because Lord already disappeared. We can't see and we can't go to spiritual world. This is our unfortunate situation. Like that Uddhava is saying. Uddhava's lamentation is here shown as not the final conclusion. Uddhava considered the demons whose hearts were filled with anger to be devotees because when they died, they attained a direct vision of the Lord and attained his special, his lotus feet. We, on the other hand, have not attained this. We will die without seeing the Lord since he had disappeared. And thus, we will not attain his abode. Those who see the Lord at the time of death will go to spiritual world, but we can't see the Lord at the time of death. There is no trace that we will go to spiritual world. So like that, Uddhava is lamenting uh, and expressing his lamentation to Vidura. So all these Asuras, even though while they were fighting with the uh, Lord, they saw Lord Krishna seated on Garuda, who is the son of Kashyapa Muni, Katarkya Putra, uh, holding Shankar Chakra Gada Padma, and the Lord only killed them and uh, delivered them, sent them to Vaikuntha. One of the 64 qualities of Lord Krishna which are mentioned in Nectar of Devotion is Atari Gadidayaka, Hata Ari Gadidayaka. So those envious demons who are killed by Lord Vishnu will attain liberation. That is the principal quality of Lord Vishnu, Lord Rama and Lord Krishna. Being killed by the Lord, they will attain liberation. So that is indicated here. So any questions till now? Hare Krishna. We have understood Prabhuji. Okay, okay. So till now, being requested by uh, Uddhava, uh, being requested by Vidura, Uddhava was talking about the transcendental position, transcendental beauty, transcendental qualities, compassion of Lord Krishna. Apajarli here, they are taking references. And after speaking all those things, now Uddhava is going to narrate the pastimes of Lord Krishna 
in sequence starting from his very birth. So in order to answer Vidura's questions, Uddhava had to tell him about the disappearance of the Lord. Now he attempts to explain the joyous pastimes. After that, sad pastime. Having talked about Lord Krishna's disappearance and also remembering Lord's wonderful qualities and reciprocation and display behavior, etc., etc. Now he is going to talk about other joyous pastimes such as his birth and other activities, etc., etc. They are all spoken in the upcoming verses. Vasudevasya Devakyam. Vasudevasya Devakyam. Jato Bhojendra Bandane. Jato Bhojendra Bandane. Chikir Shur Bhagavan Asya. Chikir Shur Bhagavan Asya. The personality of Godhead Lord Sri Krishna being prayed to by Brahma to bring welfare to the earth was begotten by Vasudeva in the womb of his wife Devaki in the prison of king of Boja. Lord's birth is described here. Born in the womb of Devaki to Vasudeva in the prison of Kamsa, Bojendra Bandhane, Krishna desired to give happiness to the earth at the request of Lord Brahma. How and why Lord appeared? That is being indicated. Lord Krishna was born in the prison of Kamsa. Lord desired to give happiness to the earth at the request of Lord Brahma. Okay, Brahma requested on behalf of Mother Earth that earth is overburdened by the Asuri kings. Please come and do the needful. So Lord appeared to give happiness to Mother Earth by removing the envious kings. Tato Nanda Brajam Eta. Tato Nanda Brajam Eta. Pitra Kasma Vibhyata. Pitra Kamsad Bibhidhyata Ekadasha Samastatra Ekadasha Samastatra Gudar Chirswa Sabalo Vasat Gudar Chirswa Sabalo Vasat Translation. Translation Thereafter, his father, being afraid of Kamsa, brought him to the pastures of Maharaja Nanda and there he lived for 11 years like a covered flame with his elder brother Baladeva. Yeah. After he was born in the prison cell, Vasudeva transferred him to Gokul Mahavan. There he lived for one, 11 years. Then again he came to Madura. <coughs> his father, Vasudeva, afraid of Kamsa, brought Lord Krishna to Vraja. And for 11 years, he lived there with Balrama like a covered flame. He was brought by his father to Raja. He lived there for 11 years. Ekadasha Sama. So it is described, he is described as covered flame because he performed his Bali Leela, Paugandha Leela and Kaishur Leela pastimes. There, unknown to Kamsa and others. So covered flame means there is flame inside, but it is covered by ash. It is covered by uh, um, smoke or something like that. So he is there, but Kamsa did not know that he is the son of Devaki and Vasudev. So like that. Har, he can be called as a covered flame because he covered his qualities as Supreme Lord with his fitness. In Vraja, no one knew that Krishna is the Supreme Lord because he covered his Aishwarya by his wonderful sweetness. So that, in that way also we can see. So Lord Krishna performed his Balila in Gokul Mahavan uh, from the day of birth all the way up to 3.33 years. That means 3 years, 4 months. And then his Pavagandalila in Rundavan from 3 years, 4 months to 6 years, 8 months. And then his Kaishur Lila in Nandagaon from uh, 6 years, 8 months to 11 and a half years. 
and when he is 11 and a half years old he came to madura again so that's how the details are given by acharyas about lord krishna's past times in all these places so what did he do in, in these 11 and a half years that will be mentioned in the next verses parito vasta pervastams parito vasta pervastams charayan vyaharan vibhu charayan vyaharad vibhu yamuno pavane kujad yamuno pavane kujad vija sankulita angripi vija sankulita angripi in his childhood the almighty lord was surrounded by cowherd boys and calves and thus he traveled on the shore of yamuna river through the gardens densely covered with trees and filled with vibrations of chirping birds so this verse talks about lord's pawgand leela in vrindavan 3.3 year 4 months to 6 year 8 months in those days what did you do on the bank of yamuna in vrindavan that is being indicated in this verse herding the calves and surrounded by his young friends the lord played on the bank of yamuna in forest whose trees are filled with chirping birds every day they would take the calves to the nearby area and whole day they would play while the calves are grazing so like that they were performing all the wonderful pastimes so the forest had trees filled with chirping birds so lord's pogand leela has been explained in this verse from 3.33 years to 6.67 years and during these years lord krishna killed vasasura and he killed bakasura vasasura was the calf demon bakasura was the crane demon he also killed agasura and he also performed brahma vimohan leela all these past times happened in the pogand leela then the next verse talks about is bal leela 0 to 3.33 years in gokul mahavan कौमारी दर्शय चेष्टा कौमारी दर्शय चेष्टा प्रेक्षणीय ब्रजौकसा प्रेक्षणीय ब्रजौकसा हृदन इव सन्मुग्धा हृदन इव सन्मुग्धा बाल सिंहावलोकना bala simha balokana translation when the lord displayed his activities just suitable for childhood he was visible only to the residents of the of brindavana sometime he would cry and sometimes laugh just like a child and while so doing he would appear like a lion cub so lord childhood past times kaumar leela from 0 to 3.33 years that means 3 year 4 months showing his attractive infant past times to the people of raja he would pretend to weep to get what he wanted and then laugh when he got those things when demons attacked he appeared like a young lion bala simha avalokana showing his bravery in spite of his fear so lord krishna displayed crying like a child without the typical symptoms of tears so lord's balila komarila which took place from 0 to 3.33 years is explained in this verse so lord kamsa not kamsa out of fear of kamsa vasudev shifted krishna from madura to gokul mahavan and then in a week's time putana came to kill lord krishna lord krishna delivered her then at 3 months shakadasura came lord delivered him at 1 year prunavarta came lord delivered him and in between he also performed uh, uh, what is that mm, mrudabakshan leela and uh, ukal bandhan leela etc damodar leela etc etc during the damodar leela he also delivered uh, our uh, yamal arjuna's trees nalakuvara manigriva ah uh, nalakuvara and manigriva both were delivered so this past time took place during diwali So Lord Krishna appeared in the month of Shravana 
ಶ್ರಾವಣ ಭಾದ್ರಪದ ಅಶ್ವಯುಜ ಕಾರ್ತಿಕ ಫೋರ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸೂನ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿವಾಲಿ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಓವರ್ ದಾಮೋದರ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಓವರ್ ದೇನ್ ವಸುದೇವ್ ನಾಡ್ ವದೇವ್ ನಂದ ಉಪನಂದ ಸುನಂದ ದ ಫೈವ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಂದ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ದೇ ಆಲ್ ಮೇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಸೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ನೋ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಲೀವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಸೊ ಮೆನಿ ಡಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬಿಂಗ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಲರಾಮ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಲೀವ್ ವೆಕಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದೇ ಟೋಲ್ ಟು ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸಮ್ ಅದರ್ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಲರಾಮ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಅಫ್ರೆಟ್ ಬೈ ಸೊ ಮೆನಿ ಡೇಂಜರ್ಸ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ದೆನ್ ದೇ ಆಲ್ ಶಿಫ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ವೃಂದಾವನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ದಿವಾಲಿ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದಾಮೋದರ್ ಲೀಲಾ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಶಿಫ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ವೃಂದಾವನ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಲ್ಡರ್ ವುಮೆನ್ ಹಿ ವುಡ್ ಸೀಮ್ ಟು ಕ್ರೈ ಸ್ಟಬನ್ಲಿ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವೆನ್ ಇ ಗಾಟ್ ದೆಮ್ ಹಿ ವುಡ್ ಸ್ಮೈಲ್ ವೆನ್ ಇ ವಾಸ್ ಮಾಲ್ ಹಿ ವುಡ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಮದರ್ ಯಶೋದ ಮದರ್ ರೋಹಿಣಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ವೃಂದಾವನ್ ಲೇಡೀಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಟರ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ ದೇ ಸೇ ನೋ ನೋ ಕಮ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ವುಡ್ ಕ್ರೈ ದೇ ವುಡ್ ಗಿವ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ ದೇ ವುಡ್ ಸೇ ಯು ಡ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಪ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ವುಡ್ ಗಿವ್ ಸೊ ಈ ವಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಪೆಟ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಸೌ ಈ ಮೇಡ್ ದೆಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಬಟ್ ಈವನ್ ದೋ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಬಾಯ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಫಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಡಿಮನ್ಸ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ರಜಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅಪಿಯರ್ಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಯಂಗ್ ಲಾಯನ್ ಹೂ ದೋ ಅಫರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಥ್ರೆಟನ್ಸ್ ದೆಮ್ ಬೈ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ರೇವರಿ ಸೊ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಟ್ ಕಾಫ್ಸ್ ಕಾಫ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಂಕೀಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇ ಈಸ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ಬಟ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಡಿಮನ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯೂಜ್ ಐಜೆಂಟಿಕ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಯು ವುಡ್ ಬಿಹೇವ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಬಾಲಸಿಂಹ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಟೈಗರ್ ಕಬ್ ಲಯನ್ ಕ್ಲಬ್ ಲಯನ್ ಕಬ್ so he would uh, stand in front of them and kill them without fear so like that so for small animals he would feel like afraid but for the demons he would never afraid so that's how he displayed his wonderful affection this caused anxiety in his parents who had affection for krishna so these are set of past times that happened during balalila of krishna next lord goes to nandagam having gone to nandagam he takes care of the cows that is mentioned in the next verse and the remaining chapter talks about all the past times in his uh, kaishora lila all those past times in the kaishora time they are mentioned in the rest of the chapter saiva godanam lakshmya saiva godanam lakshmya niketam sita gorusham niketam ವೈಲ್ ಹರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಬುಲ್ಸ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ದ ರಿಸರ್ವಾಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಪ್ಯುಲೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಚ್ಯೂನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಬ್ಲೋ ಹಿಸ್ ಫ್ಲೂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಸ್ ಹಿ ಎನ್ಲೈವೆಂಟ್ ಹಿಸ್ faithful followers the cowherd boys yeah while herding a multitude of cows of various colors along with white bulls he played with the cowherd boys while playing on his foot and uh, later on after going going to nandagam the daily pastimes are taking the cows going to different forest every day one on one and the whole day playing with the cowherd boys it's like that sometime later Lord Krishna gave up herding the cows and while herding the wealth of cows who were the abode of beauty Lakshmi and Niketam. Some of them are white, some of them are blue, some of them are green, some of them are yellow and grey along with white bulls. So Lord Krishna played with the cowherd boys every day. So this verse that indicates the Kaishor Lila. The prominent pastime of Kaishor Lila is taking care of the cows and playing throughout the day with the Gopas. And eventually in due course of time performing past times with the gopis every night so th- those were his favorable past times in kaishora lila 6.67 years to 11.5 years and other prominent past times in this entire uh, time period are briefly mentioned in the remaining remain verses prayuktan boja rajena prayuktan boja rajena ಬಾಲಕ್ರೀಡಾನ 
the great wizards who were able to assume any form were engaged by the king of boja kamsa to kill krishna but in the course of his past times the lord killed them as easily as a child to break dolls as if they were toys as if they were toys the young boy casually killed all the demons who produced illusory forms according to their will and who were sent by kamsa so lord krishna killed the demon sent by kamsa both during the noon time and in the evening time as if they were toys lions uh, made of leaves so basically since the time of lord krishna's birth all the way up to kamsa was killed every day kamsa would send two demons he would tell send one demon in the morning one demon in the afternoon so the first demon would go to lord krishna during the time of noon so krishna would kill the demon then they would remember that they need to take lunch since morning they were playing they playing they became exhausted then they need to take lunch and after lunch they would again engage in playing when it is about to sunset another demon would come and lord would kill then they would realize that it is already sunset it is already sunset is happening let us go home so this is how all those years while krishna used to go out to tend the calves and cows their days would pass like this and all these demons were sent by kamsa just like mama sends brings kilona to for banja so lord krishna was sent i mean i mean kamsa sending so many demons to lord krishna and krishna was playing with them and breaking them so that new kilona would come so that was the that was how it is considered so every day before lunch hours one demon would come and before sunset another demon would come so after killing those demons lord and his friends would remember that okay let us have lunch and let us go back home so like that only they would spend past times every day vipannan vishapane na vipannan vishapane na nigriya bujagadipam nigriya bujagadipam उत्तप्यापायुनाइज कालिया Lord chastised the snake king within the water and drove him away. And after coming out of the river, he caused the cows to drink the water and proved that the water was again in its natural state. So during his Kaisar Lila, one of the important pastime that Lord Krishna did is punishing Kaliya. That is indicated here. Subduing Kaliya. Lord Krishna revived the dead cowherd boys and the cows who died because of drinking the poisoned water, and made them drink the water which became free of poison. So when they in the noon time during summer hours during the noon time, the feeling thirsty, the cows and uh, all the gopas they ran and drank the water from one small lake adjacent to Yamuna River. Since Kaliya was living there, the whole water became poison. They all feel unconscious. So Lord Krishna, uh, re, um, by looking at them, made them alive, regained their consciousness, and then Krishna himself jumped into that lake and punished Kaliya. That past time is indicated here. He revived the cowherds and cows who had fainted on drinking the poison water, and made them drink the water, which was now free of poison. So like that. then after that past time there is another wonderful past time that is govardhan puja indra ray sending rains and lord krishna lifting the govardhan that past time is mentioned in the next verse ayajayat gosavena ayajay gosavena goparajam vijottamai गोपराजम दुजतमई 
Translation: The Supreme Lord Krishna desired to utilize the opulent financial strength of Maharaja Nanda for worshipping of the cows and also he wanted to give a lesson to Indra, the king of heaven. Thus, he advised his father to perform worship of go or the pasturing land and the cows with the help of learned, learned brahmanas. Mm. The Lord had Nanda perform sacrifice by worshipping the cows using brahmanas, desiring to make proper use of abundant wealth. So this verse and next verse, both the verses talks about uh, Gordon Lila. So basically, Nanda Maharaj, they are all preparing a lot of uh, foodstuffs during the Diwali, the next day after Diwali, to perform Indra Puja. Go Savena means worship of the cows in place of the sacrifice of Indra. The word cha indicates that not only did Krishna desire to use the accumulated wealth properly, but he desired also to break the pride of Indra. Though Nanda Maharaj prepared all the food items to worship Indra, but Lord Krishna uh, used all of them to worship Govardhan and the cows and the brahmanas in order to utilize them properly and also remove the pride of Indra. But when this happened, Indra became angry and he sent rains. And Krishna lifted the Govardhan and saved all the Vrajavasis from the rains which continued for seven days. That is mentioned in the next verse. Varshati Indre Vrajakopad Varshati Indre Vrajakopas Bhagna Mane Ati Vivala Bhagna Mane Ati Vivala Gotra Leelata Patrena Gotra Leela Patatrena Trato Badranu Grahnata Trato Badranu Grahnata O sober Vidura, King Indra, his honor having been insulted, poured water incessantly on Vrindavana, and thus the inhabitants of Vrija, the land of cows, were greatly distressed. But the compassionate Lord Krishna saved them from danger with his pastime umbrella, the Govardhana Hill. Mm. Oh Vidura, when Indra, deprived of sacrifice, angrily showered rain, the inhabitants of Raja were saved by the merciful Krishna, who used Govardhan mountain as an umbrella to protect them. So like that. When Indra, being deprived of sacrifice in anger, began to pour rains, Lord Krishna saved the people of Raja by playfully using a mountain as a large umbrella. This pastime is well known to us. We hear every year this thing. And finally, and the most important prominent pastime in Kaishwar Lila is Rasa Lila, pastimes with the gopis. That is mentioned in the last verse of this chapter. Sharasya Shikarer Mrishtam Sharasya Shikarer Mrishtam Manayan Rajani Mukam Manayan Rajani Mukam Gayan Kalapadam Reme Gayan Kalapadam Reme Strina Mandala Mandana Strina Mandala Mandana In the third session of the season of the year the Lord enjoyed as the central beauty of the assembly of men by attracting them with his pleasing songs in an autumn night brightened by moonshine. So, respecting the evening, bright with the rays of the full moon, that is Sharat Rutu, Sharat Purnima, singing soft melodies with his float, ornamenting the group of women, Lord Krishna enjoyed the Rasalila. Starting from Shadat Purnima, every day Lord Krishna would uh, have Rasalila with the gopis. So like that, he would spend his time during his Kaishwara Lila. Bringing joy to the face of Srimati Radharani by rubbing away her perspiration with his hand, 
making her think that she alone was his lover lord krishna as beautiful as the full moon singing softly ornamenting the whole group of gopis enjoyed ras leela with them so this is how lord krishna would be enjoying the ras leela with them so lord anything lord krishna would do would be very attractive the gopis would be very much attracted to lord krishna and they would want to be with lord krishna as much as they is possible so because in the daytime it is not possible in the night time we would perform this ras leela past time the association of all the gopis so there is one verse comes in the 10th canto bhagavatam which says that anyone who hears about krishna will be attracted to krishna so this is a prayer uh, a letter sent by uh, a prayer from the letter sent by rukmini devi to lord krishna rukmini devi says shrutva gunan bhuvana sundara shunvatamte nirvishya karana vivrai hrataunga tapam rupam drusham drushimata makilartha labham tvai achuta vishati jitta mapatra pamne it says that uh oh beauty of the world having heard of your qualities which enter the ears of those who hear and remove their bodily distress whoever hears about the wonderful qualities of lord krishna the bodily distress will be removed and having also heard of your beauty which fulfills all the visual desires of those who see i have fixed my shameless mind upon you o oh krishna so just like mother rukmini having heard about lord krishna as wonderful qualities activities form and other things rama roopa gunlila becomes completely attracted to him like that one should become attracted to lord krishna hearing about him that is a intention so gopis are those who are completely attracted to lord krishna so rajani mukam means evening thus one meaning is considering the suitability of the evening lit by the rays of the autumn and moon lord krishna would perform pastimes with the gopis of vraja however it has another meaning also he make joyful the faces of his independent lover known as swadina bartrika which was made bright by removing her perspiration using hands of the male lover like the full moon so basically lord krishna would give happiness personally removing their fatigue by rubbing the sweat on their uh, faces after having a dance with lord krishna so like that so thus the gopis all become joyful thinking that i alone with krishna i am alone with krishna every gopi would think that i am only with krishna all other gopis are bereft of lord krishna that is how lord krishna would give joy to all the gopis making them think that krishna is only with them not with others so like that thus ornamenting the whole group of women with his presence during enjoyment of the ras leela lord krishna enjoyed that past time during his kaishor leela time that 6.67 years to 11.5 years every night he would perform these uh, wonderful past times so like this bal leela he performed in gokul mahavan pavagand leela he performed in vrindavan kaishor leela he performed in nandagaon and around places so like that for 11 and a half years lord krishna stayed in vraja uh, and he performed all these wonderful past times so then he comes to madura and kills kamsa these are all mentioned in the next chapters so any questions hari krishna ah uh, prabhu ji hmm. that uh, how lord krishna's appearance in depression the appearance is aptly compared to the sun by quoting that uh, like our 10 marks ka question hai so the mm. appearance and disappearance by the compared to the sun ha ah, explain we discussed last week yes lord krishna does not take birth like us he is always okay. there but sometimes he becomes visible sometimes he becomes invisible like sun sun is always there in the sky but we only see him from morning 6 to evening 6 it doesn't mean that lai sun is born at 6 am in the morning and is dying at 6 pm in the evening not like that so so it is like that how many are present to today's class prabhu ji i don't know here it is not visible 
सो ओके जो भी प्रेजेंट है प्रेजेंट है ओके आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल टू बी प्रेजेंट एंड राइट द एग्जाम आल्सो नेक्स्ट वीक एग्जाम नो या वी विल हैव वी विल हैव एग्जाम विल सी वाह या इस एक्चुअली सेकंड चैप्टर इज वेरी गुड वन वी विल हैव एग्जाम या बिकॉज़ मेनी वर्सेस टॉक्ड अबाउट वेनी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स सो वी विल टेक फ्यू वर्सेस फ्रॉम थर्ड चैप्टर बिकॉज़ दिस पास्ट टाइम्स आर कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ दोस पास्ट टाइम्स and okay, then we'll stop till 1 o'clock okay you okay. okay. one minute hari bol hari krishna ah, yes. can you please yes. tell me about mrida prakshan leela which you mentioned in your class no mrida prakshan leela is like uh, balram ji and other friends compare complain to mother yashoda they're saying that lord krishna ate dirt okay mrida okay. mrida means eat dirt prakshan means eating so they complain to mother yashoda that krishna ate dirt and mother yashoda told that no no open your mouth and um, krishna said that i did not eat if you did not eat please open your mouth and show so when krishna opened his mouth the entire brahmanda all the universe with all the different different plant systems are seen by mother yashoda within the mouth of lord krishna that was mrida bakshan lila okay then thank you prabhu ji mm-hmm. hare krishna prabhu ji ha ah, yes prabhu ji Suppose you mentioned that the uh, Hari Kathi uh, Dayaka, uh, that quality is mentioned by uh, displayed by Ramchandra and Nasim Madhav also, right? Yeah, that is one of the five qualities which are which we can be see in Lord Vishnu. From fifty-six to sixty qualities, me, one quality is Hari Kathi Dayaka. So that can be seen both in Lord Krishna and also other Vishnu Tattva also. But we we'll can see that Lord God Ram. Yes, and uh, Nasima Dev. When they hmm. killed the, like Irana Kasipu and uh, Irana Ashravan and Kumkaran, they didn't uh, achieve liberation. They, they were reborn. Abi, abi, unka shab kya tha? Ravana, Kumbakaran, Irana Aksha, Irana Kasipu ka shab kya tha? They will take three bars. Ah, three bars to hona chahiye na, wapa jaane ke liye. Wo to Jaya Vijay hai. What liberation is there for Jaya Vijay? they are not asuras by birth they came they were already vaikuntha vasis they came down here to perform some past time so sab leela chal raha hai so don't apply this rule for them you apply this rule for others other asuras who were killed by lord rama and uh, lord narsimhandal they were liberated and one more point our acharya said that so when somebody is being killed by the lord so they should be in uh, happy mood that they are getting killed by the lord and also they should understand that they are getting killed by the lord so there there is a aspect of knowledge also important when it comes to uh, hiranya kashyapu hiranya kashyapu thought that varaha is the only animal hiranya kashyapu thought that it is a mystic creature a brahma and Ra, ravana thought that a ordinary human being a normal manushya isse kya hoga he never thought him to be vishnu so that accepting him as vishnu also at the time of death is also important that also should be a qualifying factor so because that is but not there that's why this people also didn't think lord krishna is bhagwan is considered as the kala like very ordinary person ah no 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 in case of shishupala and uh, what is that pounder ka pounder ka that's what so they all knew that krishna is the lord everyone was talking that krishna is the lord that's why he was glorified high so they were uh, unable to take that they are in mastarya nv and mastara hey how can he be the god and i am god i have because he shishupala would say that i was born with four hands three eyes i have special features of god and pandraka would wear four hands and shankar chakra gadapadma saying that i am uh, the real god so they knew that krishna being glorified as the lord but they wanted to demean krishna and by glorifying themselves so that time they they attend liberation we meant to say like uh, when krishna killed that human that is were aware about the supreme position of krishna yes yes they are aware everyone aware of that at the time But why Rupa Goswami says in Bhagavad Bhagavata Amrita that uh, the quality displayed by Gati uh, Natari Gati Dayaka is more in Krishna, and he gives this example like that is that is rasa, that is ras that 
अभी गोस्वामी समार आए तो बोलेंगे ना हमारा भगवान तो सुपीरियर करके दैट्स व्हाट आई एम सेइंग डोंट अप्लाई दिस रूल फॉर जया विजया वो वो ऑलरेडी वैकुंठ वासी सो केम फ्रॉम वैकुंठ उनको लिबरेशन का मतलब क्या है टू टॉक अबाउट लिबरेशन फॉर अदर ऑर्डिनरी सोल्स व्हेन दे आर किल्ड बाय कृष्णा और राधा रावतारास दे विल अटेंड दैट सो व्हाट दे आर गेटिंग दे विल गेट साहिज्य मुक्ति when they are killed by other avatars they will get sahajya mukti but when it comes to krishna they they can be promoted to vaikuntha and other about ayar about also that is a special feature which is given by lord krishna like putana demon killed but went to go goloka became mother agasura attained sarupya mukti so like that pauntaka also attained sarupya mukti You mean to say like Lord Ram Chandra and Narasimha they all meet each other, Sahib Ji Mukti Gans Krishna give the higher forms of Mukti. In the case of Krishna, it is said like that when the demons are killed, some of the demons attained Vaikuntha or Mukti also. But in the case of other avatars, that kind of things are not clearly mentioned. They are said that they are the demons went to Sahib Ji only. So like that. See, there are many more specific details. I also don't know every detail and every detail. But this is a different topic. If you have some question, the chapter will take. This can be discussed some other time. Okay. Ah. But overall, the principle understanding is this principle applies both for Krishna and for other avatars also. But but what is awarded in that there is a gradation. So Vishnu avatars. Who, when they kill asuras, they award one the position in uh, sahaja. But when it comes to Lord Krishna, so there is an extra element of compassion as a result of which they will enter into Vaikuntha and attain very close proximity of Lord Krishna. Also, like Putana attained proximity of Lord Krishna, becoming as Aya, and Nagasura became Sarupya. Pounderka also attained Sarupya. And Jaya Vijaya, that um, what is that? <clears throat> Chishupal Dantavakra, they went to Vaikuntha and became Jaya Vijay. So it's like that. There is some extra additional mercy in case of Krishna. That like that we can see. That doesn't mean that Vishnu cannot give that additional mercy. We cannot say that. So Vishnu also can give additional mercy if at all the 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 demons are ready for that. It depends on them. मधुरा The destruction of the Edu dynasty is also described in brief. So there are about 33 verses talking about. Oh no, no, this is that is the chapters. There are about 28 verses talking about various past times, past times in Madura, past times in uh, Dwaraka and Kurukshetra and other things, etc., etc., and Prabhas. Uddava Uvacha. निपात्यतुंगादिपुयूतनाथ हतम व्यकर्ष व्यसुम ओजसोर्व्यम हतम व्यकर्ष व्यसुम ओजसोर्व्यम श्री उद्धवा सेड देयर आफ्टर लॉर्ड कृष्णा विंट टू मथुरा सिटी विद श्री बलदेवा एंड टू प्लीज देयर पेरेंट्स दे ड्रैग्ड कंसा द लीडर ऑफ पब्लिक एनिमीज डाउन फ्रॉम हिज थ्रोन एंड किल्ड हिम पुल्ली हिम अलोंग द ground with great strength 
So to give happiness to his parents, Krishna along with Baladeva went to Madhura and pulling Kamsa from the play platform. So he was sitting on the upper uh, balcony, something like that, and the throne. Lord Krishna pulled him from there to the Rangabhumi and uh, dra he fought with him, he killed him and then dragged him on the Rangabhumi uh, so that his parents are sure that Kamsa is completely dead. So that was the whole thing. In order to give happiness to his parents, Lord Krishna and Balram came to Madhura and dragging Kamsa from the high platform, having beaten him and then killing him, Lord Krishna dragged that body, the dead body of Kamsa on the ground in order to prevent his frightened parents from fainting since they thought that uh, he could get killed by Kamsa. Krishna and Balram are small boys, 11 years old boys. So Chanura, Mushtika and Kamsa, they are most powerful people who defeated Indra and us other Devatas. So Devaki, it was they thought that these two boys will be killed by Kamsa and his soldiers. But in order to console them, give them assurance that after killing by beating Kamsa, Krishna dragged the dead body of Kamsa on the ground. So like that. So after the death of Kamsa, so Vasudev, because he did not perform the Vach anti Upanana ceremony and then uh, with the Veda Dhyan, then immediately performs Upanana ceremony and sends Krishna and Balram to Sandipani Muni Sastram, far distant. They were sent from Madura to Ujjain because the news will go to Jarasandha. Jarasandha might want to kill Krishna and Balram. So just to keep them uh, in a secret place, Vasudev immediately sent them to Ujjain. So out of parental affection for studies. So there they stayed for two months and completed all the education. They, understood, they studied all the 64 colors within 64 days. And then they came back. Thinking that Jarasandha might wage war against Madura. So they immediately completed their education. They immediately came back to Madura to attack, uh, to take the attack of Jarasandha. Sandipane Sakrit Proktam. Sandipane Sakrit Proktam. Brahma Ditya Savistaram. Brahma Ditya Savistaram. Tasmai Prada Dwaram Putram. Tasmai Prada Dwaram Putram. Murtam Panchaja Nodarat. Murtam Panchaja Nodarat. Translation The Lord learned all the Vedas with their different branches simply by hearing them once from his teacher Sandipani Muni, whom he rewarded by bringing back his dead son from the region of Yamloka. Mm -hmm. After learning the Vedas and the six Sanghas, Vedangas, uttered only once by Sandipani Muni, Lord Krishna pierced the stomach of Panchajana, retrieved Sandipani's son and presented him as his to his father. So Lord studied all the education in 64 days and uh, presented Guru Dakshina of bringing back the Guru's son from Yamaloka and returned to Madhura. After learning the Vedas with its six Sanghas, piercing the stomach of Panchajana, he brought the Guru's son from the death and gave him to Sandipani Muni. This is the Guru Dakshina which Lord Krishna paid to his Guru. And then he returned to Madhura, thinking that Jarasandha might attack Madhura anytime. In order to protect the Madhura Vasis, Krishna and Balram immediately returned to Madhura. So like that. Then what happened? Samahuta Bhishma Kanya Yaye. Samahuta Bhishma Kanya Yaye. Shriya Savarne Nabubu Shayesham. Shriya Savarne Nabubu Shayesham. Gandharva Vritya Mishatam Sabagam. Gandharva Vritya Mishatam Svabhagam Jahre Padam Murdi Murdini Dada Suparna Jahre Padam Murdini Dada Suparna Translation Attracted by the beauty and fortune of Rukmini, the daughter of King Bhishmata, Many great princes and kings assembled to marry her. 
but lord krishna stepping over the other hopeful candidates carried away carried her away as his own share as garuda carried away the nectar yeah so after completing their education when they came back to madura jerasandha waged war krishna and balram easily defeated him and sent him back again accumulated another army came again next week next year like that from 11th year to 25th year almost once in every ma 8 months or 10 months jerasandha would wage war against uh, lord krishna and balram when krishna was about 25 years old the 18th time jerasandha attacked this time he also inspired kalayavana to attack from the other side so from one side of madura kalayavana attacked other side jerasandha is going to attack thinking that the madura is at a danger lord krishna shifted the entire madura vasis to dwaraka constructing a new city within the waters of ocean so then lord krishna had uh, kalayavana being killed by muchkunda maharaj and lord krishna coming in front of jerasandha krishna balram fled away from the battlefield and climbed onto prash prashmuka mountain and then kamsa lit fire the entire mountain they jumped into the wa- from that mountain and then swimming across the ocean they went to dwaraka so it's like that so after going to dwaraka that was the time immediately he received a letter from um uh, rukmini devi a brahmana brought the letter from rukmini devi and uh, here reading that letter krishna immediately goes to kandan kandanapur and uh, kidnaps rukmini from that uh, marriage arrangements rukmini marriage was already set to, uh, to be married to uh, shishpal and krishna kidnaps her from that marriage ceremony so like that that is indicated in this verse the kings had the kings had assembled attracted by the beauty of rukmini equal to lakshmi with a desire to take her as their bride stepping on their heads while they glanced here and there thinking that krishna may come lord krishna sees her just as garuda sees the part of nectar so while all the kings assembled kings hope that okay rukmini will not marry shishpal but instead she will marry me like that they were thinking and they were looking at her and they were also looking they also are doubtful that krishna might come any time but as they were looking at that beauty and astonished krishna came and kidnapped her so the kings assembled being attracted by the beauty of rukmini which was equal to lakshmi's lord krishna placed his foot on the heads of those kings and sees rukmini just as garuda sees the nectar the kings were thinking in their minds of taking her for themselves gandharva marriage requires only the mutual consent of bride and groom the kings that that oh, she will marry me she will select me she will select me but krishna came and took her away shishpala thought that she would be his wife and other kings thought that she would be their wife they desired in this way at the same time they were glancing her here and there thinking that perhaps krishna would come any time but krishna came and took her away so that is indicated in this verse so like that couple of verses we'll talk about lord krishna's marriage with uh, different uh, queens okay, that is also one of the important past times which krishna performed during his stay in dwaraka from 25th year to 100th 125th year 100 years he stayed in dwaraka so in that way so then his marriage with another uh, uh, wife is indicated in the next verse kakudmino vidana soda mitva kakudmino vidana soda mitva swayam vare nagna jitim vaha swayam vare nagna jitim vaha tad bagnamana api grudya to gnan tad bagnamana api grudya to gnan jagne kshatasya srabrutasva shasrai 
By subduing seven bulls whose noses were not pierced, the Lord achieved the hand of Princess Nagna Jiti in the open competition to select her bridegroom. Although the Lord was victorious, his competitors asked the hand of the princess, and thus there was a fight. Well equipped with weapons, the Lord killed or wounded all of them, but he was not hurt himself. So here it is said that. So there was a Swayamvara competition in the Swayamvara of Nagnajiti. There were seven bulls. They need to be tamed at one go. Many kings tried, but they were failed. So Lord Krishna expanding into seven farms, controlled the seven bulls. And uh, he won the hand of Nagnajiti. And he kept Nagnajiti and his chariot when he was about to leave. All the other kings who assembled there for the same swamvar, they began to attack Lord Krishna. Just like after Draupadi swamvar, when Arjuna won the hand of Draupadi, all the kings who came for the same swamvar attacked upon Arjuna. So both Arjuna and Bhima tackled the attack and defeated all of them. Similarly, here Lord Krishna, whatever arrows thrown by the kings, Lord Krishna diverted all those arrows back to them only. So some of them were killed and most of them were injured. And then Lord Krishna returned with Nagnajiti. So like that. Taming the bulls which do not have rings in their noses, he married Nagnajiti. And these bulls were uncontrolled bulls. In order to control the bull, there is a thread put in the nose, nostril of the bull so that they will be controlled. But these are uncontrolled bulls. They are most powerful and very difficult to control them. So like that. But Lord Krishna easily tamed them. Covered with their attacking weapons, Lord Krishna remained unwounded, unwounded, and with their own weapons killed those kings who had been disappointed, defeated in trying to tame the bulls, yet who being ignorant desired to possess Nagnajiti. So they thought that, so we did not win the competition, but how can Krishna take her away? We'll defeat Krishna and uh, get her. Like that, with their thought, they started attacking with Krishna. But uh, Lord Krishna not only uh, defeated the seven bulls. He defeated all the assembled kings also and took the hand of Nagnajiti. So like that, going to different, uh, different, different Swayamvaras, Lord Krishna married first Rukmini, second Jambavati, third Satyabhama, then fourth Kalindi, then Satya. Her other name is Nagnajiti. Nagnajiti Satya seems to be same. And then Mitravinda from Avanti. And then uh, Badra from Kekaya Kingdom and Lakshmana from Madras, Madradesh. So these are the eight principal queens. Uh, most of them were married in the respect to Swayamvaras. And some of them were married by their liking. So like that. Rukmini, Jambavati, Satyabhama, Kalindi, Nagnajiti, Mitravinda, Badra and Lakshmana. So these were the eight principal queens of Lord Krishna. So, Lord Krishna married all these eight. Priyam Prabhur Gramya Iva Priyaya Vidhisturarchad Dutarum Yadarte Vraje Vajra Dravatam Sagano Rushanda Kridam Rugonu Namayam Vadunam Just to please his dear wife, the Lord brought back the Parijata tree from heaven, just as an ordinary husband would do. But Indra, the king of heaven, induced by his wife, henpegged as he was, ran after the Lord with full force to fight him. Uh, so, while Lord Krishna was getting married to many, many principal queens, at one time, Nardamuni comes from Swargaloka, uh, bringing a message of Indra. And also he brought one Parajata flower. So that time Nardamuni came to the palace of Rukmini Devi. And Nardamuni gave that, uh, pa after giving the message, and he gave that Parajata flower to Krishna. And Krishna gave it to Rukmini, then and there. So later on when Satyabhama found out this, she said, I want, I also want one Parajata flower. So Lord Krishna said, okay, no problem. 
Sometime we'll go to heaven and we'll get flowers. I'll get for you. So later on, following the message of La, I mean Indra, Lord Krishna took Satyabhama and he went to Prajyutishapur, I suppose. There he killed uh, Narakasura or Bhavamasura. And then uh, he went to Indra heaven. He uh, gave, uh, what you can say, whatever was stolen by Narakasura from Swargaloka, all of them to Indra. He stayed there for some time. And while coming back, uh, what happened? While coming back, Lord Krishna took Satyabhama to Parijata Garden, the Parijata flower plant garden. That garden is in heaven only. And uh, he told Satyabhama, you take whatever flower you want. And Satyabhama said that I want to have a tree in my courtyard so that I can have Parijata flowers always. And Lord Krishna told, let's take one Parijata flower, whichever you want. So she identified Lord Krishna plucked that Parijata flower and he was going. This news went to Sachi Devi, the wife of Indra. And she told Indra, go and stop them. Parijata tree belongs to heaven. It is in my garden. And how can Krishna's wife can take it without our permission? Go and get it. Indra says, no, no, I can. Just now Lord Krishna fought with Iran Narakasura and he brought first gifts. And how can we fight? So I don't know all those things. You go and fight with him and get back that uh, Parijata flower, whatever you do. So his wife demanded Indra that he should get it back. So unable to console her, Indra went in front of uh, Krishna and uh, had, a, had, had a fight with Krishna, but very soon he was defeated by Krishna. And uh, that's all. So here it says that when Indra went to fight with Krishna, Indra was thinking that you are a henpecked husband. Following the de demands of your wife, you are taking away the parajata flower from the heaven. What is this? This is not appropriate. This, uh, this flower is not meant for Buloka residents. So like that he was arguing with Krishna. The reason is being indicated in this. It is said that Lord Krishna appeared to be an ordinary husband controlled by his wife. However, he to give a dear object out of prema to his wife who had prema for him. He thus took the Parijata tree from heaven because of which Indra went to fight with Lord Krishna with his thunderbolt. Why Indra went to fight? The reason is he was blinded with anger. The reason for that was that he was the plaything of his wife Sachi. So Indra was the plaything of his, Sachi, his wife Sachi. Whatever his wife said, demanded, he, did, he was doing. And according to the principle that one thinks that everyone else is similar to oneself. Atmavat Manneta Jagat. Indra thought that Krishna was also a plaything of his wife, Satyabhama. Thus criticizing Krishna in this way that you are a plaything of your wife, listening to the dictates of your uh, demands of your wife and you are taking away um, the heavenly tree to the earth, which is not supposed to be. So he pursued after Krishna to for fight. But Lord Krishna defeated him easily and then brought the Parjata tree to earth. So this pastime has been indicated uh, here. So then before this pastime, I'll just conclude with this uh, next verse because the next verse is connected to this verse only. After killing Narakasura, when Lord Krishna entered into the palace of Narakasura, what happened? He saw 16,100 princesses, the daughters of different kings, were kidnapped by Narakasura. They were all imprisoned in the palace, within the palace of Narakasura. He wanted to marry them later on. But Lord Krishna sent them to Dwaraka. And after getting Parjata tree from heaven, when he went back to Dwaraka, Lord Krishna married all of them in 16,100 different palaces in the midst of all the Dwaraka Vasis. All the Dwaraka Vasis are also expanded in all those 16,100 palaces and they all witnessed the marriage of Lord Krishna with each and every queen. The 16,100 princesses who were rescued from the prison of Narakasura. And before that, Lord Krishna gave the kingdom of Narakasura to Narakasura's son. That is mentioned in this verse. 
it is said that seeing that her son narakasura who swallowed the sky with his farm had been slain by the chakra of lord krishna and requested by his mother the earth the budevi requested lord krishna so lord krishna gave the kingdom to narakasura's son bhagadatta and then entered into that palace so lord krishna went to pra mahishmati i think he killed narakasura then he entered the palace that is where first he saw budevi who offered prayers and bhagadatta came and offered obeisance to lord krishna then being requested by budevi lord krishna gave the entire kingdom to bhagadatta and then he further entered there he saw all the queens and um, another queen called the princesses he sent them to dwaraka then krishna went to indraloka and after the past time he came back and married them seeing that her son narakasura was swallowed the sky with his farm he had been slain by the chakra and requested by his mother earth krishna after giving the kingdom to his son bhagadatta entered into the palace though narakasura's mother lineage was pure by association with banasura he developed a demonic mind so narakasura is actually the son of lord varaha and budevi so how can he become the asura his mother is pure soul and father is lord himself it is said that there are two stories one story is that he was associating with uh, banasura he became asura and other story which is said in another purana is that during the fight that took place between lord varaha and iran naksha while lord varaha was lifting the bhumandala and budevi at one point of time iran uh, naksha grabbed the bhumandala which was there on the tusk of uh, lord varaha and threw it uh, into garbhadak ocean because of that touch eventually budevi gave birth to a son and that son is bauma or eventually became bauma asura or naraka asura because he was born by the touch of hiranyaksha uh, he was a demoniac son so this is one story which is coming from some puranas and another story is uh, because of his association with banasura he became asuric so this finally so within the palace the princess is stolen by narakasura on seeing the lord who is the friend of the distressed immediately stood up and accepted him as their husband with glances impelled by joy bashfulness and attraction so as krishna went inside after giving the kingdom to uh, bagadatta he saw 16100 princesses imprisoned in the prison and just looking at lord krishna they all accepted lord krishna to be their husband and according to their desire eventually lord krishna accepted them as is uh wives so that is in the, according to the proper method in each of the palaces uh sh- uh each of the uh, palaces a uh, suitable form lord krishna accepted each bride in marriage at the same time by his power of yoga maya so lord married all of them at one go and all the dwaraka vasis expanded and they were present in the they presented in each and every palace simultaneously so lord accepted them according to the regulations of marriage he performed this act by his yoga maya or without bewilder meant so this is how lord krishna married in total 16108 wives so this is one of the very wonderful past time of lord krishna it marrying itna princess is not so easy and keeping them happy for their entire tenure so this is the great past time of the supreme that's why is supreme lord so like that uddhava is talking about all these past times so we'll stop here sorry for the delay so any questions hi krishna prabhu ji dandu ah. pradam <coughs> प्रभु जी जैसे आपने बताया एक स्टोरी ये है दूसरा स्टोरी वो है तो ऐसा कैसे समझने का जैसा क्योंकि अभी एक एक और जैसा दोनों 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 पॉसिबल पॉसिबल स्टोरीज स्टोरीज है वाज बोर्न बाय द टच ऑफ हिरण्यक्षा एंड इज आसुरिक नेचर फर्दर एनहेंस्ड बाई दोनों को एक्सेप्ट करना है 
अच्छा क्योंकि जैसे चंदन यात्रा के लिए भी हम हम लोग जो पढ़ते हैं वो वो आ, ये माधवेंद्रपुरी जब चंदन लेने गए वो और अभी मैंने एक और पास टाइम सुना कि जब हिरण्य कश्यपू और जब प्रहलाद महाराज बोले कि मुझे वरा भगवान के भी दर्शन करना है तो वो वरा अवतार और नरसिंह अवतार दोनों इकट्ठा दिखाए फिर उनको चंदन लगाया गया क्योंकि वो बहुत क्रोधित थे तो ऐसा थोड़ा कंफ्यूजन होता है ना कौन सा पास टाइम को मानेंगे कौन सा ऐसा थोड़ा इसके लिए मैं पूछ रही थी आपको तो हाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड वैष्णव परंपरा में चंदन यात्रा इज इन कनेक्शन टू माधवेंद्रपुरी पास टाइम That's why we do only yeah. these 21 days. The other yeah. place, the Chandan Yath, Chandan thing is going on for the entire year. They keep Chandan to the Lord Narasimha Bhu Varaha Narasimha for the entire year. Only on Akshay Tritya they remove Chandan and give the darshan of the actual form. Mm. That oh, one time they apply parang. Chandan, the Chandan will be kept for the entire year. Okay, okay. That is a different mm. past time. तो वो हमारी परंपरा में नहीं है इसलिए हमने वो नहीं सुना है वो दूसरी परंपरा में इट्स लाइक दैट ऐसा कुछ नहीं वो अलग भगवान के पातारा पास टाइम है ना वो नरसिंह देव का पास टाइम है ये भगवान कृष्ण का पास टाइम है अभी क्लियर हुआ ठीक है ऐसा परंपरा का ऐसा कुछ है नहीं सब परंपरा एक ही है भगवान का ये है ऐसा कुछ नहीं वो भगवान का अलग लीला का पास टाइम है ये अलग लीला का पास टाइम है हम ये लीला के अनुसार ट्वेंटी वन डेज अप्लाई चंदन and all ila ke anusar they apply chandan in that one particular place for the rest of the entire year so it is like that mm. yes prabhu ji thank you abhi baldev prabhu ji lagos aaye hain na africa aaye hain wo wo wala first time suna hai to main pehli baar hi suni kyunki abhi tak main madhavin puri baat ke first time suni thi thank you chalega chalega hare krishna any other questions from other devotees uh, hare krishna prabhu ji regarding uh-huh. the test we have got verses to memorize 7th 12th and 23rd uh-huh. 20th verse nahi hai usme aapne 